What school districts are the best in Columbus, Ohio? If I had a nickel for every time I was asked that question, well, you probably know how the rest of that goes. It's actually by far the most asked question I get. If you're watching this video, you're probably moving or relocating to Columbus and maybe doing a little bit of research about the school districts. You might be trying to figure out which ones are the best and how does one compare to the other? Or maybe wondering how much house can I afford to purchase in one of the better rated ones? Well, having been born and raised in Columbus and a product of our public school system, there is no one better to fill you in. And I'm going to be as tr transparent as possible. It all starts right now. So let's go. <laughs> Hey, and welcome. If you're new to my channel, my name is Mark Van Stein. I make videos about what it's like living in Columbus, Ohio. I cover things like the best schools, neighborhoods, cost of living, areas, everything you need to know about Columbus so you can get a really good feel on what it's like to live here. If you enjoy the video, please hit that thumbs up button down below. It just lets YouTube know that, hey, Mark's doing a good job. Also, make sure you subscribe because I'm making new videos every week, not only about Columbus, but also its many suburbs as well. Most importantly, if you're thinking about relocating or moving here, make your life a little easier and let me and my team help. I'm a licensed Remax realtor who's been helping people relocate to Columbus for over 18 years now. So I've got a little bit of experience doing this. You can give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, shoot me a TikTok, no, don't shoot me a TikTok. I have no idea how that app works. I get people reaching out to me every week who are relocating here, and we absolutely love to help. Make sure you watch to the end of the video because I'm gonna tell you about a school district which ranked number one, but I couldn't use this video because it's just not technically in the Columbus region. One of the many things Columbus has to offer are some really great public school districts. I've mentioned in other videos on this channel that I would have no issues recommending any number of them. Like I mentioned, I was born and raised here in Columbus and attended a Worthington schools. Now, unfortunately, Worthington did not make the top five. It just fell outside of that. But that doesn't mean that Worthington isn't a well-regarded school district. I know there are a bunch of websites out there that rank schools and you know what? I don't have any idea where they get their data from or what criteria they use in the rankings, but I wanna be completely transparent. The data I use in this video came directly from the State of Ohio Board of Education. And this video is based on the school's achievement score, which I quote, represents whether student performance on state tests meets established thresholds and how well students perform on test overall. Many of the districts graded so close together that they're really only off by a couple tenths of the score. But you know what? Someone's got to win, right? Hey, I was a swimmer in high school and in college, and a tenth of a second or a point means something. So here are the top five rated school districts in Columbus in descending order. Coming in at number five is Upper Arlington. If you've watched any of the other videos on this channel, you know I poke a little bit of fun at the suburb and call it the bubble. The air is just a little bit cleaner inside the bubble. I poke fun because Upper Arlington and where I went to school in Worthington back 30 years ago were actually high school rivals. In truth, Upper Arlington or just Arlington, there is no difference between the two, is a fantastic area with an outstanding school system. It's located just west of the, of the university and has been locked down for years, meaning that there is no or very little resi new residential home construction. The district is actually in the process of building a new high school and middle school. The, the high school is getting, you know, a little bit long in the tooth and needed to be redone. The district scored a 92.6 in achievement with a five-star rating, which, I quote, significantly exceeds state standards and academic achievement. In fact, Upper Arlington was one of the few schools in Columbus that had actually 
scored five stars across the board in achievement, progress, gap closing, graduation, and early literacy. Upper Arlington also graduated 96.5 of its students in four years and 99.3 in five years. Unfortunately, you have to temper the district with its high cost of housing. Upper Arlington has some of the most expensive housing in the city. If you check out my video on this channel, I break down the cost of housing in five popular neighborhoods. Upper Arlington was the most expensive based on cost per square footage. Bexley comes in at number four. Bexley is a smaller urban suburb located directly east of downtown Columbus. It's where we find a lot of the older wealth in central Ohio. The suburb is full of larger, older homes. It's where the city's leaders used to live back in the day. The attraction to Bexley is its proximity to downtown, along with the style of housing. It's a completely polar opposite of, let's say, a New Albany, where all the houses look the same by design. There are some absolutely wonderful architectural homes throughout the community. Bexley, like many of the other suburbs that are closer to downtown, has been built out for years. There really is no new construction unless there's like a lot split or someone tears something down. The school district is on the smaller side with about 2,500 students. Bexley's performance index score came in at 93.3, receiving five stars in four of the five grading categories. The high school graduation rate is 95.7% in four years and 98.7% in five. Overall, outstanding grades. Not only is the public school district very good, but also home to the Columbus School of for Girls, which is an outstanding all-female private school. Number three is going to be the Olentangy School District. Olentangy School is a split between two suburbs, Powell and Lewiston. Now, full transparency, I live in the suburb of Powell, which is obviously an Olentangy School, so I'm a little biased. The district is located directly north of Columbus and south of the city of Delaware. Olentangy is going to be completely opposite of, let's say, in Upper Arlington or Bexley, which are going to be a little bit smaller and landlocked. The Olentangy district is growing rapidly with 21,000 students. Right now, there are four high schools and possibly going to be eight someday. If a certain high school or middle school is important to you, be aware that as the district grows, the neighborhoods get redistrict. Now, we just went through this redistricting two years ago with the opening of Berlin High School. My niece, who also lives in the district, spent her first two years at Liberty High School and then her junior and senior years at Orange High School. This type of remapping within the district will continue into the future. Olentangy Schools scored a 95.4 performance index with five stars across the board in all five grading categories. The graduation rate of 98% of students after four years of high school and 99.1 in five years. Housing is all over the board in the district with single family homes anywhere from the $200,000 range all the way up to the millions. With all the land still available for development, the district will continue to grow years to come. Number two is Grandview Heights. Grandview is just west of the short north, directly south of Upper Arlington. Grandview is an area which I like to call suburb light. It has the best of both worlds, great schools, the more urban feel. Grandview has an awesome commercial district with restaurants, bars, shops, which is all within walking distance of the neighborhood. Grandview Heights is a very desirable area with a very, very limited amount of housing inventory. The homes that do come on the market usually sell at a very high price. Some of the most expensive real estate in the city, even more than Upper Arlington. Grandview is one of the smallest school districts in Central Ohio with just over 1,100 students. However, it has been at the top of the list in terms of best districts for many years. The district scored a 96% in the performance index, but fell short in the progress index, only scoring three out of five stars. The high school graduation rate is 97.6% in four years and 98.9% in five years. When I bought my first house, I actually wanted to live in the Grandview area, got, but got priced out. It's an area where many people I relocate are very interested in, but just with its limited inventory, they end up somewhere else in the city. The winner is New Albany Schools, or Plain Local Schools as they are also known. 
New Albany is a suburb on the northeast side of Columbus. It's made news recently because Intel's new manufacturing plants are going to be located just on the outskirts of the suburb. New Albany is a suburb that Lex built. Lex Wexner, that is. If you're not familiar with the name, Mr. Wexner is Columbus's resident billionaire, founder of the limited brands, which include Victoria's Secret, Bath and Body Works, and another half dozen brands or so. 30 plus years ago, he literally started buying up all the land in New Albany and slowly creating this community. The schools have become amazing. High school can't be mistaken for a small university with the way it looks and is designed. They scored 96.3% on the performance index with five stars across the board in the ratings category. The high school is graduating 98.8% of their students in four years and 99% in five years. The district isn't as large as let's say a Dublin or, or Kanji schools with just about 5,000 students, but there is still some room for growth. The community is quite something, although it's not for everybody. All the housing around the country club is Georgian brick style by design and looks very, very similar. Something some people I relocate here just don't care for. Also, the cost of homes in the school district are quite expensive. So those are the top five districts in Central Ohio, but there is one that beat them all and has been doing so for years. So as promised, here it is. And that district is Granville. Granville, not to be confused with Grandview, is about 45 minutes dead east of New Albany. It's not really part of what we consider Central Ohio, but the community has been getting much more popular over the years because the road between Granville and Columbus was finally widened, making it much easier commute. Every year I have a handful of clients who buy homes in the Granville area, and they see all seem to be coming from the East Coast, and laugh when I tell them that it's a 45 minute commute into Columbus. The attraction to Granville is not only its suburb schools, but that is also very quaint. It looks very much like a small town you would find in a Vermont or a New England. Being a little bit further away from the city, there is also a little bit more opportunity to own some acreage. However, with Intel building out on the east side, that is all changing very quickly. The school district is pretty small, about 2,500 students. They scored a 98.4 on the performance index with four out of five stars in the grading categories. They are also graduating 98.1% of their students in four years and 100% of their high schoolers in five years. Those are the highest ranked districts in the city. I hope you found the video helpful. If so, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up down below. If you're interested in knowing more about Columbus, subscribe. Also check out some of the other videos on this channel. If you're moving or relocating to Columbus, make sure you give me a call. Trying to balance finding a good house in a fantastic school district, along with one that is affordable, can be super stressful. Let me and my team make your life a little bit easier and help you find the perfect home. You can call me, text me, email me. My contact information is at the end of the video and down below as well. Until next time.